Hey guys, welcome back to Unqualified Critics. I've got to tell you, for as a non-football fan, I should say, uh, NFL Blitz has me pretty excited. I mean, obviously, the game's a lot of fun. It's a classic, stands on its own, totally approachable, even if you're not really a football fan. But uh, it's got, to me, it, it's coming together to show the markings of a cabinet arcade when I was taking really seriously. They've done some cabinets before. Star Wars probably comes to mind as the top of that list, but cabinets where they put extra effort, attention, detail. Um, Buck Hunter would be up pretty high on that list, in my opinion. Not perfect, but that, that was a pretty, pretty good cabinet, in my opinion, all things considered. And I think we're seeing NFL Blitz is looking similar. And here's my evidence of that. The 49-way joystick. And I know a lot of you are wondering what exactly is the 49-way joystick. So let's hear it from uh, the executive producer of the Arcade One Up game from the cabinet. I took this footage from their stream earlier, George. Well, Michael. that's it's funny you mentioned the 49-way joystick because that was absolutely one of my must-haves when we agreed to do the project. So, yeah, that's kind of a weird thing, right? 49 ways, how does that work? Well, basically what it does is it gives you three different levels in every direction, right? So there's eight directions in a, um, in a normal eight-way joystick. But if you push up, you can push up and it gives you three levels, like slow, medium, fast. And then it also gives you that on the angles and everything. So you can kind of get this curve nature to how you're, you know, when you're playing and you want to kind of run around a curve rather than just like going at a 45-degree angle, you kind of can curve the player. It gives you that control. So um, when you add all those ways up, you get 48 ways and then center is the 49th way. So um, they call it a 49 position joystick, but it, it, it results in this ability to kind of curve your motion. And with Blitz, it's 3D, you're getting, you know, the play field's kind of moving a little bit and you really need that nuance. And I'm actually glad he explained that in such detail because I knew that it had the three levels to the joystick, which is awesome. It really makes for movement in 3D to work correctly versus just that strictly on off uh, directional of a normal one, but I never understood how they got to 49. Apparently they count center still uh, of the joystick position, the resting position as a position. I always wondered how the hell do you get to an uneven number like that, but I guess that's how. So yeah, um, they had to build this joystick from the ground up and they did. Of course, we're gonna wait and see, you know, let's get this thing in person. There've been cabinet mistakes before. I'm not going to take for granted that they executed the 49 joystick uh, well, but they may have. I'll tell you that Star Wars yoke, I think 1UP deserves a lot of credit for how nicely executed that was given the pricing conditions they had. All right, so I wanted to cover really quickly that super important joystick. There's lots of other stuff to be said on this cabinet. Some gameplay changes that sound like they've been made, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I wanted to talk to you guys about what really did surprise me that they're doing right by the joystick on this cabinet. Thanks for watching. Let me know below, are you excited for this cabinet? Maybe the gameplay changes are too much, and so maybe you're not in, or maybe you're like me, you don't care as much about you know the game itself, a game of football that is, not the arcade game, um, and you're looking at a cabinet, looks like it's well made, looks like it was really handled with care. Uh, you know, Is this the next Star Wars? Probably not at that level because of the gameplay changes, but could we get pretty close there's always these kind of concessions that seem to be involved with these high level licenses and that's the downside but hopefully the upside is the end result is just a really fun to play game and, and hopefully they get the price right on this one thanks for watching guys let me know in the comments what you think again and i will talk to you later